This is the first time in the history of Kenya that a person seeking to be the president of Kenya went to every corner of the country and asked people, if you elect me, what do you want me to do for you? If you elect us, what is your expectation? Because there has always been this arrogant disposition of us in leadership thinking we know what Kenyans want and we impose on them our values. Now we are going into government knowing that Amamamboga in Kiambu and Amamamboga in Kitale have as much legitimate expectations and the right to tell us what they want as a bank manager in Nairobi. Two days ago, Your Excellency, a CEO of a big corporation called me and he called me on ordinary line. He has for the last two years never called me other than on WhatsApp. And I asked him, what's the problem? Today you're calling me on a different medium. He said, but the president-elect announced that sniffing on our phones is over. <laughs> and now we are free to make calls without looking over our shoulder. If a person at that high is feeling that way, you can imagine the person who has been traumatized and tormented by the police feels. They now feel liberation is here. So, Excellence, as we move on to end, we want to encourage ourselves that we should not rest on the laurels of our victory, that we must, in fact, pay more attention to everything that we were told and this big house called Kenya Kwanzaa. Kwa mungu watawezesha ili musiweze kusahau. Uh, asante sana dada yangu uh, Dorcas, uh, Pastor Dorcas, Dr. Dorcas uh, Rigadhi. Wacha ni chukue na fasi hiku kushukuru sana kwa jili ya kusimama na taifa letu la Kenya haswa kwa jili ya kuomba na kuweza kuweka wachungaji pamoja ile uh, muweze kuomba kwa jili ya nchi yetu ya Kenya. Najua uh, pengine um, utapata na fasi ya kuweza kutusalimia maana na tuna, tungependa kusikia sauti yako. Ama muna semaje kanisa. Si mungependa kusikia sauti yake. Asante sana. Kwa hivyo mungu wa tusaidie na mungu wa tujalie. Tunajua kwa tuko um, katika uh, maombi na tuko na ila ambaye tunaita the final push. Kwa sisi kina mama wakati mwingi kama unatarajia mtoto uta ngojea mpaka mtoto azaliwe. Na mimi nimekuwa nikisema kwamba mtoto wetu wa Kenya alizaliwa tarehe tisa mwezi wa nane. Si ni kweli kanisa. Huyu mtoto lakini hajatoka hospitali. This child has not been discharged. Sijui nini naendelea kule hospitali, sijui ni homa imemshika, sijui ni jondi imemshika, lakini tutasukuma, tutaomba hadi huyu mtoto afanye nini? Atoke. Na mkipata nafasi mnaweza kusoma neno la Bwana kutoka kitabu cha wafalme wa kwanza uh, mlango wa tatu hapo chini wakati Suleiman alikuwa amepewa alikuwa ameomba na akaambia Mungu kwamba nataka unipatie hekima ili niweze kujua mambo ya kufanya na kuna mama wawili walikuja wakasema kwamba watu walikuwa wamepata watoto na mtoto mmoja alikuwa amelaliwa na mama na akafa na wakaenda kwa mfalme Suleiman wakimuuliza kwamba huyu huyu anasema huyu mtoto ni wangu huyu mwingine anasema ni, ni wangu Suleiman akasema hebu mniletee kisu nikate huyu mtoto Mwa, yule mama mmoja akasema usikate huyu mtoto mwingine akasema kwamba mnaweza kumkata Suleiman akasema huyu mtoto ambaye alikuwa amekufa basi ni wa huyu ambaye anasema mtoto akatwe huyu mtoto ambaye ako hai ni wa huyu mama ambaye anasema mtoto asikatwe sisi tunaona, tunaomba kwamba mtoto wetu asilaliwe akakufa na kusikue na kubadilishwa there is going to be no exchange in the name of jesus bwana yesu asifiwe kwa hivyo asanteni sana tutakapomaliza hapa tumeandaa uh, lunch kwa kila mmoja wetu pale uh, katika gazibo uh, tukimaliza tutaweza ku uh, naibu wetu wa rais ambaye atakuwa rais wa tano wa jamhuri ya Kenya karibu sana Asanteni sana tafadhali Asanteni sana and we want to tell our 
worthy competitors, that you have absolutely no capacity in law, in fact, or under the Constitution to fetter anybody from associating with another. Kenyans fought for this Constitution and engraved in the Bill of Rights and the right to associate with whoever they are. People will make choices. If they are wrong choices, they are their choices. They are not yours. So don't lecture anybody about mundane provisions of the law that are inimical to inconsistency with the Constitution. We, as Kenya Kwanza, will uphold the Constitution and we welcome everybody, even those who have been told that they can't leave, just open the constitution and ask them to show you where it says you can't associate with so and so. And we'll continue growing, but more importantly, we are happy that UDM, Governor Roba, my friend and my neighbor, thank you for thinking wisely because you have not made a bad decision. This is a decision that will make a big difference in this format, in this setup, you will not look over your shoulder to greet somebody. You will not look over your shoulder to whisper to somebody. And you will not look over your shoulder to make a phone call. You live freely like we expect everybody to do. Thank you so much, Your Excellency. I take this opportunity to say congratulations for leading this pack to victory. Those who are shouting, don't be distracted. Because the victory you have gotten with us is a victory deserved. You campaigned, you spoke, Kenyans listened to you, Kenyans appreciated what you said, and they were able to make a difference and choose between boys and men, girls and women. And here we are, thank you. We stand here this afternoon to welcome our UDM brothers and sisters to a coalition of the free a coalition with space, and a coalition where freedom of expression is sacrosanct. We formed this coalition because this country needed one. This country has gone through what my good old friend and classmate, Speaker Maturi calls slave owner mentality that people are actually owned by people and their thinking is in a closet locked by people. So in Kenya Kwanzaa, you'll enjoy the freedom that one of my friends once said is like taking off gumboots at midday in the Sahara. And you feel how your feet will feel. We are here to welcome you and encourage you and say, you are not invitees, you are brothers and sisters, and we are now a family. And our present elect has indicated very clearly that his election is a turning point in the history of the politics of Kenya. His election has actually shattered a devastating blow to politics of ethnicity, and sectarian politics. Politics where people think that what they say becomes the law and what they don't like becomes unlawful. Today, Kenyans are having a sigh of relief. You walk out there and you see everybody is exhibiting very rare happiness, even in the economic difficulties. And there comes Your Excellency, the Shakespearean saying that uneasy is the head that wears the crown. The crown is now on your head, and you have to carry and solve the problems of Kenyans.